Detective Peter Hagan, who handles the press release for the department. What does this warrant allege he's wanted for? The warrant charges uh, one count of 187 PC. be charged in connection with the uh, killing of a little girl in the last of September. Now that, that occurred, the little girl that was killed, that occurred in Grayson County. Now we had a murder here last September that, uh, that we haven't completely removed from our mind. Uh, we'd like to talk to him about it. Of course, that again is up to his attorney. What was the date of that? September 1st. Is that conflicted when he was supposed to be in Los Angeles? I don't know. I don't know when he left Los Angeles. What was the nature of that? Demo is this killing, numerous knife wounds, and just a uh, horrendous crime. The girl was just cut to pieces. How old was the girl? Was it? How old was she, Tom? 25. 25. Sheriff, you've known Charles all, uh, all his life. What's your assessment of him? I have known Charles for like four or five years. I didn't know him, I'd, I'd met him, uh, seen him on once or twice before. Uh, has there been any change in him since you had met him before? I noticed a distinct change in his appearance. He's considerably lighter, and he lost uh, approximately 30 pounds or more. He, uh, well, he it's been 10 months of hard work, Carl, and uh, of course uh, we're... We're very happy he's on his way to California, and that's where he should have been eight months ago at the very minimum. Uh, when Justice Black uh, handed down his decision this morning, he reaffirmed my faith in the federal judiciary, I'll say that. Uh, I think there's something wrong with the system that uh, can take an alleged uh, killer that slaughtered five people and hide them in the state of Texas for ten months. Uh, it's shocked my conscience, and I, I would hope that uh, it would awaken people to the need of uh, some law that would expedite uh, things. Very much different than he did when I knew him, or when I had met him on this previous occasion. He just looks like a different person. I wouldn't have recognized him. D. Watson him. was the kind of boy a community like Cobo could be proud of until yesterday. Yesterday, it was learned that Watson, who once taught Sunday school in this church and who worked behind his father's country store counter across the street, had been arrested in McKinney. He was charged with the brutal, ritualistic slaying of Hollywood actress Sharon Tate and four other persons. Charles was above average, uh, very definitely so. He was what I would call an all-round student. He excelled in uh, football and basketball and track. He was well liked by the student body, by the rest of the student body. He uh, seemed to mix well. He was well adjusted and he uh, was very active in all kinds of extracurricular activities, you see.